Welcome to season seven of the WBBL. We've gone from the bubble last year, we're in festival mode for this year, and we have a new sponsor. I promise to keep the barbecue jokes to a medium. I mean, minimum. That's the last of the bad jokes. Let's get into all the squads for this year's WBBL. That is full of authority. Oh, yeah! Terrific work. Glorious. First two years of WBBL, the Hobart Hurricanes made the semi-finals. Since then, they've just sort of been popping up the bottom of the table, but boy, have they made some very big changes. On paper, they look very, very good. Mignon Dupria, she is the general. How about these big names to come in? Mignon Dupria, she was brilliant for the Melbourne Stars last year. I call her the general because she manages things so very well. And then coming south, Monstrano. Her hundredth wicket. Leading wicket taker in the history of the competition of those players, they all know how to win games too. And that has been the missing ingredient for the Hobart Hurricanes. He's Carey smashed. My key player is Australian Nicola Carey. She's had 18 months of really solid cricket in the green and gold. That form and confidence I feel as if she needs to bring the Hobart Hurricanes and if she does that they'll be knocking on the doors of finals. Home ground advantage I think could be the key to success or at least at the start of the tournament for the Hobart Hurricanes. A big chunk of games down on the Apple Isle for them. Quietly, they'll be hoping to play off in the final and I think they're dreaming big. I really think they're hoping to take out the title this year. So no Hall, no Matthews and no Tryon. But if they can win back-to-back -back games, find that winning formula as they're going through, things will be looking good for the Hobart Hurricanes. And why not smash it to the fence? The Hobart Hurricanes, how good have they played? Yeah. 